everyone. Thanks for coming out today. A uh, special day for us here. First ever uh, media day for the Rip City Remix. Uh, we're really excited. So again, thank you for coming out. Uh, hope I can use as many big words as uh, Danny Connors over there, but we'll see what happens. What kind of special opportunity is this for you to be the first head coach of Remix and coming back to town? Uh, the opportunity to be the first head coach is, is, is special to me. Um, what's more special is getting to come back to a, a organization that I'm very familiar with. Um, really enjoyed uh, being a part of this organization for the six, seven years I was here previously. So uh, when I got the call and the opportunity to come back, it was a no-brainer for me. Um, this is a special place, not just the organization, obviously the the community, city of Portland, Pacific Northwest. This is a special place for me and my family, so we were thrilled uh, to be able to come back. A G League team has been talked about for the Blazers for a while, so it finally happened. How does that benefit the big teams? Uh, I think it's a tremendous benefit. Um, I think the way they've set it up here is 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 top notch. We're going to be in the same facility. Um, we're going to be able to kind of mirror a lot of the stuff that the Blazers are doing. Uh, myself and, this, and my staff, we've been around uh, Chauncey and his staff a lot. Um, we've been able to kind of see how they do things. Uh, it makes a transition for the players that are being assigned and, and uh, who will be with us. It makes it easier that we're using a lot of the same terminology, um, running a lot of the same stuff, uh, just kind of keep it simple for them for when they, they transition back and forth. Uh, being in the same building, they don't have to get on a plane or get on a you know, get in a car and drive somewhere, they're just here. So they can practice with us on days that the Blazers don't have much going on. They can play on nights that that uh, the Blazers aren't playing. So I think it's a tremendous benefit to have it, um, you know, in-house and, and they'll have eyes on them. They'll have uh, the front office, the Blazers coaching staff, be able to watch those practices and games. So I think it's a tremendous benefit for everybody to just to do it here. And uh, I think it's going to be a successful operation. So it's kind of a good feeling to already have one of your guys, Kevin Knox, just get another NBA opportunity. Uh, don't know if I could talk about that one, but the goal of this is, yes, it's about developing players and helping them, you know, kind of take the next step. And, you know, we're proud of that. It's uh, it's an interesting and a unique environment. Um, you know, I come to work every day and the roster could be different every day. And as a coach, it's kind of a fun and exciting challenge. You know, you're going to be coaching one team one night and a different team another night. And as the season goes on, you're going to get guys in and guys are going to leave. And, you know, it's just about while they're here, you know, getting everybody on the same page and, and, and buying into what you're, you're trying to, to teach and, and how you want to play and having everybody committed to that team while they're there together. So it's going to present its challenges for us. But, you know, this is, this is what it is and we're proud of that. And, you know, we take, we take a lot of pride in the fact that we can get these guys better and, and help them move forward. How do you guys want to play? What's, what's, what I think you we're going to be a tough, gritty, resilient team. Um, I think that's just the nature of the league. That's how you thrive in this league. I think you got to have guys that can just kind of roll with the punches. Um, you know, every day is different. Um, you're going to have different challenges present themselves throughout the season. So, you know, we want a good group of guys that are going to mesh well together who kind of want to represent ourselves uh, in the community as this tight knit group of guys that play hard, that compete. You know, we're not trying to win every game. Obviously, we're trying to win games, but we know realistically we're not going to win every game, but we're just going to give our best effort and we're going to play hard every night. And I think that's something as a coach you're going to be proud of at the end of the night, just knowing that you got a bunch of guys going in the right direction. Any other questions for Coach? One specific guy, Malachi, obviously went to Gonzaga, kind of knows the Pacific Northwest, I guess, a little bit. You know, what, what have you liked from seeing him so far? Uh, he's a great kid. Great kid, um, smart, knows the game, uh, competes every day. I think uh, he's taken a bit of a leadership role with our guys. He's he's vocal, which is kind of unique for for a rookie. But uh, you know, he's earned the respect of everybody on the court. They kind of gravitate towards him. So we're expecting a lot of big things from him um, with his game and his leadership skills, his voice. So he's been around uh, for a while, and 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 you know, we've gotten. To, to be with him, we really like his presence, his leadership skills. So we're excited for him. We think he's uh, he's going to thrive with us. All right, thanks, Tony. Thank you. Guys.